Nuclear security is a fundamental mission of the NNSA. A safe, secure, and effective nuclear deterrent remains an essential element of our nation's defense, both to deter attacks and to protect our interests and those of our allies. Maintaining a safe, secure, and effective U.S. nuclear stockpile, consistent with the President's 2018 Nuclear Posture Review, is chiefly performed through NNSA Stockpile Stewardship Program, or the SSP. While most nuclear weapons in the U.S. stockpile were produced during the 1950s and 1960s, the SSP enables NNSA to extend the lifespan and ensure the continued safety, reliability, and effectiveness of weapons that have reached the end of their original design life through life extension programs. It's a very complex process that we've engaged in over the last 20 years to develop, uh, requalify in some cases, uh, and produce uh, a refurbished weapon that will go back to the Navy and have an extended life of an additional 30 years beyond what it was originally designed for. The W761 Life Extension Program is essential to enabling the NNSA to accomplish its mission to certify the effectiveness of the nation's nuclear deterrent. The original W76 design, as a product of the 1970s, is built around technology of that era. The LEP program brings W76 technology into the 21st century. The W76 Life Extension Program was a significant refurbishment of a major uh, weapon system uh, that the Department of Defense uses. Um, in order to do that refurbishment, uh, there were some critical components that needed to be replaced uh, to extend the life of the 76 and, and extend its uh, viability in the stockpile. As one of the two warheads associated with the Navy's submarine-launched ballistic missile and with no new weapon designs on the horizon, Navy leadership determined that it needed to extend the useful life of its W-76 weapons to coincide with the life cycle of the delivery system, the Triton II D-5 missile and the Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines. The W761 LEP delivers on that need. The Department of Energy and the Department of Defense are no longer actively designing and fielding new weapon programs for various reasons. So our approach has been to take existing qualified and fielded weapon designs and perform what we're calling life extension programs. So bringing existing weapons in from the field, um, retrofitting or repairing or replacing components that maybe um, need to be modernized or have aged over time and we want to replace them. And that way we are extending the life and the viability of the existing weapon stockpile. By extending the time that a weapon can safely and reliably remain in the stockpile, NNSA is able to maintain a credible nuclear deterrent without producing new weapons or conducting underground nuclear explosive tests. As a nation, it shows that uh, we have the ability and the capability to, uh, to do something major like this uh, in the nuke weapons world. And, and it's a big deal uh, looking from the outside in. Uh, the other, other nations see that, that we can actually do something like this and, and uh, are able to pull it off. The W761 first production unit was completed in September 2008 and the first delivery of refurbished warheads to the U.S. Navy using the original W76-0 pits was in fiscal year 2009. A decade after that first production unit, NNSA is celebrating the production of the last unit, which officially took place at the Pantex plant in December 2018, ahead of schedule and under budget. The final unit coming out was a really big deal. Um, you know, a lot of pride as far as seeing that many units being completed and the work that went into it, and then also the excitement of seeing what's going to happen next. As a top production priority for NNSA, the W761 LEP achieved significant milestones. Probably the most important milestone was the first production unit. Uh, there were some technical, uh, there were technical issues early on in the program with some of the components being produced uh, at other sites. Um, those sites, the NSA leadership and the national labs with us all worked through those technical issues and all culminating in a first production unit 
uh, which is a really big deal for the entire enterprise. The W761 LEP has required a great deal of coordination and effort from employees at all levels to ensure our national nuclear deterrent is effectively maintained through this significant life extension. This was basically a tip to tell, uh, complete redo of a system and engaged uh, Y-12, engaged Pantex, engaged Sandia, both from the design and the production side, and Los Alamos from the design and production side. And that was the first opportunity to gain some history and some experience with those people on deliver building and delivering products. Thousands have worked for over a decade to deploy the W761, and it is the longest running LEP for NNSA so far. Being able to work here at Pantex, and especially on the 76, uh, our job is very important. We, we provide a nuclear deterrent for the United States. To see everybody pulling together, whether it was 35 account, materials being supplied, the maintenance folks keeping the bays and cells running, the production techs putting the weapons together for us, the QA specialists accepting it, the authorization people dealing with some of those challenges, the anomalies, the stuck components, and working together to get the proper weapons response and the authorities for us to continue to work this program. It was just very pleasing to see everybody pulling together for a common cause that we called the 76-1. Today, the W-76-1 continues to meet all missions and capabilities of the original W-76-0 warhead with no new military capabilities. Together, the Nuclear Security Enterprise Team has overcome many obstacles to get our nation to this significant point. I think the biggest challenge that I've seen since being on the program is that the scope of work year in and year out has been large. And so it has consumed a tremendous amount of resources here at Pantex. In order to actually achieve that, it's taken a lot of focus and effort in order to keep production running. And with the last production unit completed, work on the W761 will continue throughout its life cycle as the dedicated workforce across the nuclear security enterprise performs critical surveillance tasks to provide an annual assessment that the warhead remains reliable, safe, and secure. I think what we've learned from the 76 is perseverance. I mean, just a steady and slow wins the race. Um, I mean, you have to con continue to go on even with all the challenges we have along the way. I think perseverance is the key. Work on the W761 will remain a critical part of our nation's defense today and for many future years to come.